all the JJ episodes now on Yippee! JJ, Herky, and Tracy loved going to the drive-in because there they could watch movies outside under the stars. Movies always seemed better at the drive-in. They looked like they'd been pasted across the sky, like a big dream everyone could share. You guys, that was just way too cool! I want to see it again! We've already seen it three times, Herky. I think the drive-in's closing. <gasps> hey, I know what we can do now. Brenda has a dinosaur book at home. Maybe she'll read it to us. Yay! Last one, there's a dinosaur egg! Look at me! Ah! I'm King of the Dinosaurs! Me! Me! I'm the one with a big head like a hammer and wings like a bat. <laughs> the one that flies. I'm the one with three horns! It's getting kind of late, guys. Maybe we should read Brenda's dinosaur book tomorrow. You know what would be even better? What? Seeing a real dinosaur. Hey, why not? Instead of reading a book about dinosaurs, let's go on a real dinosaur hunt. Cool. You can count me in too, guys. Okay. We'll get up bright and early and catch the biggest dinosaur of all. <laughs> the kids were so excited by JJ's plan, they could hardly sleep that night. The next morning, Tracy and JJ got up at dawn. When they rolled out of the hangar, they were greeted by Big Jake. Well, good morning, kids. What are you doing up so early? We saw the coolest movie about dinosaurs last night, and now we want to learn all we can about them. We pretended like we were dinosaurs, too, and I was the one with a big head like a hammer. Well, now that would be a pterodactyl, Tracy. Their heads were hammer-shaped to help steer when they flew, kind of like our jets. Well, how about the dinosaur I pretended to be? He had teeny tiny legs and a giant tail. You picked the king of the dinosaurs, JJ, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was a big fella. Bigger than me. Do you know where dinosaurs live, Big Jake? Hmm. Well, one place you can find what remains of them is in the desert. We know dinosaurs live there because that's where some of their bones have been found. That's awesome, Big Jake. We better go wake up Herky. Yeah, wait till he finds out we're flying to the desert. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what they're up to. Herky, Tracy, and JJ flew out to the desert. They stayed very low to the ground, searching for any clues that might lead them to a dinosaur. I'm so excited, you guys! We're hunting for a dinosaur. Don't know if we'll find one. But if we do, I beg of you, please make it a kind one. Yeah, Big Jake says the desert is the place they like to roam. But I just hope that Brenda Blue has room for one at home. Cause he's gonna have a long neck and short claws. He's gonna have a big tail. He'll begin to roar. Ah, have no fear, what we have here is a friendly dinosaur. Are you sure, JJ? Sure, I'm sure. And when we find our dinosaur, here's what we're gonna do. We'll be the very first on Earth to start a dino zoo. Do we have to? People will see something they have never seen before. Really what? A place where they come face to face. With a real life dinosaur, and he's gonna have a long neck, a short 
claws. It's gonna have a big tail. It's gonna have huge jaws. When he gets hungry, he'll begin to roar. Ah, the sign will read, please do not feed our friendly dinosaur. JJ, Herky, and Tracy searched all day, hoping to catch even a glimpse of one of the dinosaurs Big Jake had described. Hello, dinosaurs! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Suddenly, JJ spotted something on the ground below him, something he knew would cheer his friends up. Tracy, Herky, look at that! Dinosaur footprints! has been hiding out at the airport the whole time. Wow, I wonder what kind of dinosaur footprints they are. There's only one way to find out. JJ, Tracy, and Herky followed the mysterious tracks over to the hangars. I know, let's look around and find that dinosaur. Okay, but what if the dinosaur finds us before we find him? Well, I guess we could shake its hand and say hi. JJ, how do you shake hands with a dinosaur? Very carefully. JJ quietly looked around one of the hangar walls. Then, suddenly, something strange rounding the corner up ahead caught his eye. Could it be a dinosaur? JJ wasn't the only one who spotted something strange. Hey, who's that up there? That looks like a dinosaur wing. Hey, Mr. Dinosaur, come back. Like JJ and Herky, Tracy was about to have an amazing sighting of her own. Tracy and Herky climbed high above the airport, but all they saw from the air were the same set of footprints. They're the same dinosaur tracks, but no dinosaur. Uh, maybe we should just forget about it. Yeah, it is starting to get late, and it's time to get ready for bed. Come on, guys. So, JJ, Tracy, and Herky sadly gave up their dinosaur hunt. JJ was the last to return to his hangar, and when he did, he found Big Jake waiting to tuck him in. Tracy and Herky were so tuckered out there, already asleep. He must have had a pretty big day. Yeah, I guess. Why the long face? Oh, Big Jake. We searched all over the desert for dinosaurs, but we didn't find a single one. And then when we got home, we saw their tracks on the runway, but we still couldn't find the big guys that made them. Well, I, I hate to disappoint you, but those footprints you saw aren't really footprints at all. They're holes I dug for the new runway lights. What? Really? JJ, all the dinosaurs died off millions of years ago. They did? Then we wasted all that time? Well, just because they aren't around anymore doesn't mean that you don't want to learn about them. Oh, no, Big Jake. I really like learning about dinosaurs. Well, then, learning about them is a way to keep them alive, don't you think? Gosh, Big Jake, you're right. I'll teach you something very special about dinosaurs, JJ. Some of them are still with us today, in another form. See, in order to survive, they learn how to fly, just like you kids. 
It took them millions of years of trying, but their bodies changed until they got really good at flying. We call this kind of change evolving. Some dinosaurs evolved and became birds. So you see, dinosaurs are all around you, in a way. Well, this was news indeed. Some dinosaurs had changed over time into birds. The next morning, JJ told Herky and Tracy everything he'd learned about the dinosaurs. So you mean some birds are the great, great, grandchildren of dinosaurs? Yep. Wow. I'm glad we had our dinosaur hunt, because look what we found out. <laughs> yeah. This was fun, huh? Roar! Tracy and Herky agree. They decided to spend the rest of the day watching the dinosaurs' great, great, great grandchildren nesting in the trees around Terrytown Airport. Birds. Because thanks to Big Jake, the young planes knew that learning about dinosaurs was the best way to keep them alive after all.